Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Silverado that generation here from year 2014 to year 2019. If you need to find where the fuse for the airbag module is located, which fuse you need to check, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, realize at a good price, quick shipping. That way, do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do, how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, engine lights, uh, fuses, all that stuff guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing these videos absolutely free. Now guys, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so please check check them out and they can save you quite a bit quite a bit of money now or in the future so where you can guys expect to find the fuse for the airbag module we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Silverado now guys a uh, quick fact nine out of ten people do not know about all the hidden fuse boxes in that truck we will recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location Chevy Silverado uh, now what do we guys need to do we need to practically open the passenger door and once you do that on the side of the dash you see you have that cover if you pull it out it's removable underneath you'll find a fuse box with a layout like this one for 2014 through 16 models and this is the layout for 2017 through 19 before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below now guys quick thing if you need to buy fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time guys we're going to put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out that way you do not waste money and time so now guys every time you work on airbag system uh, anything that involves airbag modules anything like that practically guys okay you have to be qualified and certified to do that so consider this video for entertaining purposes only this is not a how-to video because if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbags you can cause them to malfunction or they can explode and hurt you or they may not explode when you're in a crash guys so it's very very important to know what you're doing another thing you need to know for any of you a quick reminder guys that are qualified and certified to work on airbag system disconnect the car battery for at least one hour otherwise okay you can cause damage to the system as well and it's very important to know which battery terminal to disconnect and reconnect first we'll put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience check it out that way you can find out okay uh, exactly which battery terminal to disconnect and reconnect first now for 2014 through 16 please make sure to stand to the end we want to give you one good advice that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us 2014 through 16 here guys the fuse that we'll need to check will be known as fuse number 23 and it's a double fuse that fuse right here if you have guys 2017 through 19 it will be exactly the same location as well fuse number 23 right here that will be the fuse guys okay that you will need to check now guys you have all kind of different fuses and relays in that chevy silverado you have different fuses relays that could be really hard to find especially if you're in the middle of nowhere and uh, one time we needed a replacement one we couldn't get one we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that so what we do now we always get some spare fuses relays keep them in the glove box for a peace of mind guys that way you do not get stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching and see you next time.